and the uh, Singapore uh, chairman for Southeast Asia. He asked this youngest daughter of this Mas Oyama. He told the girl, why don't you come and practice karate? And she said, I don't need to practice karate. Why you shouldn't practice karate? And she said, my father is already very strong, so I don't have to practice karate. <laughs> There is a world famous karate master called Masutatsu Oyama, Mas Oyama. Disciples call him Sosai Mas Oyama. His youngest daughter was sent to Singapore for studies, and the Singapore uh, chairman for Southeast Asia he asked this youngest daughter of this famous. Uh, karate master who was called the strongest man of the world, he runs the strongest karate called the Kyokushin Karate. He told the girl, why don't you come and practice karate? And she said, I don't need to practice karate. Why you shouldn't practice karate? And she said, my father is already very strong, so I don't have to practice karate. <laughs> then this chairman asked her, Suppose somebody attacks you on the road, what will you do? And she said, I will smile. This kind of logical thinking and borrowed answers that you are holding on to somebody as a father. Your father is strong. Do you think you are strong? Your religion is strong. Do you think you are strong? God has given such a beautiful body to experience, feel, smell, taste, touch and see. It is your duty to make sure that when you utilize it, you will enjoy it. In that enjoyment, then you can tell you have a connecting link to your father, to your religion, to your caste, to your community, to your country, whatever it is.